listeners, you already know that a tissue is a combination of similar cells that work together to perform a particular function. Therefore, plant cells build tissues. Plant tissue can be divided into two main groups. We have the meristematic tissue and the permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue is composed of small population of meristematic cells which grow and divide to produce new cells, but never mature themselves. Thus, all plant cells are derived by mitosis from meristematic cells. The new cells are produced then develop into various cell types. These meristematic cells are small in size. They have thin primary wall, no central vacuole with dense cytoplasm, and the nucleus occupies a large part of the cell. Take note that plant growth only occurs at the meristematic regions or regions that undergo active mitotic cell division. Thus, differentiation in plants happen. Differentiation refers to the processes by which distinct cell types arise from precursor cells and become differentiated from each other. Meristematic tissues help in the growth of plant as they have the ability to divide themselves. Their cells are similar, generally small and enclosed with thin cell walls. Most plants have two or three main types of meristems. These are the apical meristem, the intercalary meristem, and the lateral meristem. The apical meristem occurs at the tip of the roots and shoots. It is responsible for the extension in length of the plant's body, which is referred to as primary growth. The shoot apical meristem plays a role in organogenesis, which is the formation of new leaves and auxiliary buds in the specific spatial patterns. In contrast, the root apical meristem is not involved in organogenesis. Apical meristems can be divided into three parts. We have the protoderm that gives rise to the epidermis, the procambium which gives rise to primary vascular tissue, and the ground meristem which gives rise to ground tissue. Lateral meristems cause secondary growth. Secondary growth causes stems and roots to grow larger in diameter. Woody plants also have lateral meristems which produce cells that thicken a stem or root. When the cells divide, they typically produce tissues to both the inside and outside of the meristem. Lateral meristem is also known as cambium. Wood and bark are tissues that arise from secondary growth, originating at two types of lateral meristems, the vascular cambium and the core cambium. Vascular cambium is an internal cylinder of meristem that produces most of the diameter of woody root or stem. It is located between xylem and phloem. It gives rise to secondary xylem and phloem. On the other hand, core cambium is a lateral meristem that gives rise to parenchyma to the inside and cork to the outside. Core cambium is located outside the phloem and gives rise to cork layer which consists of soberized cells. Intercalary meristem occurs between mature tissue sections near the stem internodes or leaf attachments. Intercalary meristems can only be found in monocots, like grasses. Grasses have intercalary meristems which allow the leaves to grow back after mowing. Intercalary meristems facilitate the growth of leaves and branches. Here is a table showing the differences of apical, intercalary, and lateral meristem. Apical meristem, it is the area of actively dividing cells that locates at the tips of the roots and the shoots, while the intercalary meristem is the area of actively dividing cells that locates at the internodes or at the base of the leaves. The lateral meristem, on the other hand, is the area of actively dividing cells that locates at the lateral side of the stem and the roots. So the functional role of the apical meristem is that it aids in the increase of height of the plant by facilitating the growth of the shoot and the root, while the intercalary meristem 
contributes to the increase in height with the growth of the internodes and the lateral meristem increases the thickness of the plant by increasing the diameter of the plant.